Hey folks, we're going to be looking at the Shrine of Two Moons. This is the Horde capital, I suppose, in Pandaria, and is located in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. So for a quick tour, we'll just go down below first. This is where you've got all your factions for your dailies and your reputation rewards. Currently only one of them actually has anything to buy of you, but hopefully the rest will be sorted soon. It's also got uh, a challenge modes vendor, so I'm guessing that's where you'll get the gear from there. If this is anything to go by, we'll be looking at eye level 489s from our reputations. And it will seem to uh, cover certain slots as well as a random, potentially. So if we head upstairs, we'll see a typical layout of outsidiness, which is excellent. We've got our stable master, pet battle train, pet battle, nah, pet battle trainer, rather, which I'm afraid you still can't learn. We've got our flying trainer, and obviously a flight path. So if we head inside to the main area, Hall of the Crescent Moon. Looks quite nice, to be honest. We start with the right. We go through, and there's some typical vendors for general goods and trade goods, some random NPCs, an innkeeper to say Hearthstone, mailbox, typical things for an inn, as well as some nice beds to snizzle down in. So if we head upstairs, we'll find another innkeeper. <gasps> So, I'm, oh, I'm guessing you'll have a choice of inside or outside. Let's just scroll that in a little bit. Or rather, upstairs or downstairs. Another bartender, so you can happily get drunk. We go through this way, we look to a portal room, which sadly none of the portals work at the moment, but hopefully they'll fix that. As well as auctioneers, and they seem to be dotted around the place. And another mailbox. At the moment there's only an arcane reforger through here. Hopefully he'll have his two friends for void storage and transmog, but you never know. So, arcane reforger as well. Even though most people probably just pick up the mount. <laughs> I know I've already got that one picked up. It's quite a lot of money though, sadly. Anyway, we'll start on the left. Here's a fishing trainer with, or rather fishing supplies might train you as well, never know, and potentially another fountain to fish in, so for all those fishing enthusiasts, have fun with that one, I'll stay well clear. If we go through here we've got a bank area, typical bankers and guild vaults, I hope these change model, that looks slightly out of place among the walls, <laughs> dear me. Some nice decor as well, so I think they've gone to quite a bit of length, honestly, to make these places look authentic, I guess is the word. Doesn't seem to be a great deal through here so far, but this is one interesting thing. She's called an armorer, so I'm guessing this is going to be something to do with your challenge sets, because they're all perched in a nice neat row. Some not being skinned, but... Um, these are the challenge sets for gold medal, I believe. So at least you can have a look-see at the heads and shoulders without having to wear them. That's always nice. Of course, when Atlas that comes out, that won't matter, but never mind. Going downstairs, we have the Chamber of Masters. This is your professions, essentially. Every profession, located nicely here, with their own little benches. There's even some toys to mess around with but no vendor here, sadly, so hopefully we'll get a toys vendor as well. Everyone loves toys vendors. Fireworks vendor. I'm a bit worried that it's a hosen, but never mind. Another mailbox. At least they learned. Mailboxes in all the places. Okay, there's two back doors. One here and one located in the inn. That was over nya. But there's two other little passageways, or areas, I guess. This one doesn't seem to have any NPCs at all, but you know, that might change. We've got some a weapon stall there, and just random supplies and bits and bobs. On the other side, we have 
machinations gone wild. So we have another guild vault actually, and a load of gnomish engineering tinkering crap, basically. Got another mailbox, but you know, the the rest doesn't really seem to do much. Though there is an NPC. So we may see something to do with engineering happen somewhere here. Hopefully. It's always nice to have new engineering things. That one got a bit stale when they didn't really add anything new for Wrath of the Lich King besides a, a random portal that would kill you half the time if you didn't have a slow fall. But, never mind. That is the Shrine of Two Moons. I'll have a sneak peek over at the Alliance one in a later video, uh, see if it's much different, but I obviously won't be able to give you a nice overview. Must say, it looks pretty nice. I'm looking forward to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in this relatively small area. That trade skills area is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, good luck and have fun.